Hello and welcome. In today's video, you will learn how to financially invest in your staff by utilizing Smart Start Workforce grants to support your staff using temporary pay increases. The information contained here has been prepared by Civitas Strategies and is not intended to constitute legal, tax, or financial advice. The Civitas Strategies team has used reasonable efforts in collecting, preparing, and providing this information but does not guarantee its accuracy, completeness, adequacy, or currency. The publication and distribution of this information are not intended to create, and receipt does not constitute, an attorney-client or any other advisory relationship. Reproduction of this information is expressly prohibited. Only non-commercial uses of this work are permitted. For today's conversation, we will look closely at how you can financially invest in your staff using Smart Start Workforce grants. We will examine the ways you implement temporary pay increases and will show the proper way to document pay increases to meet Smart Start Workforce grants wage floor requirements. For the child care sector, investing in staff is a critical way to ensure your business is healthy, poised to meet goals, and can continue to provide services to children and families. You may be wondering where to start with providing financial incentives and if these can be affordable in the future. Smart Start Workforce grants must be used to increase assistant and staff wages to meet the required wage floor and are an excellent way to issue temporary pay increases. To avoid long-term implications, there are several key steps to properly implementing temporary pay increases. Here, we review the types of payrolls and how you can use temporary pay increases to show appreciation for your staff while protecting your business's interests for the long term. How does long-term regular pay compare with temporary pay increases? Long-term regular pay is the payroll you're familiar with, where you provide regular compensation to your staff for their work on an hourly, weekly, or annual basis. Regular payroll is taxed for income, as well as unemployment, social security, and other programs, Temporary pay increases are short-term raises in a staff member's base rate of pay. Temporary pay increases are added to a regular paycheck that you issue weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly, depending on your payroll cycle. Temporary pay increases are taxed the same as long-term pay. What are temporary pay increases? Temporary pay increases are to a staff member's base pay for a set, temporary period of time. Why would a program give a temporary pay increase? Temporary pay increases can be issued to meet the mandated wage floor as required by Smart Start Workforce grants for a set period of time. How to give temporary pay increases. You want to ensure that in no way are you making or communicating a commitment to a permanent pay increase. Once again, there should be something in writing that tells the employee clearly what the terms of this agreement are specifically. The amount of the temporary pay increase, why they are receiving it, how long it will last. The next slide will illustrate a letter documenting a temporary pay increase. What should a temporary pay increase letter look like? Here is a sample of a temporary pay increase letter. January 1, 2025. Dear Jane, I'd like to confirm that we are temporarily increasing your salary to the grant mandated wage floor of X amount. As we discussed, in receipt of Smart Start Workforce grant funds for round one. This moves you from current dollar amount, an hour to new dollar amount, an hour. This is a temporary pay increase and will start on month, day, year, and end on month, day, year. We look forward to being able to compensate you at a higher level during this period. Sincerely, Happy Apple Child Care. Documentation is critical for implementing temporary pay increases effectively. Make sure that any transactions are well documented in a letter with a signed copy provided both for yourself and your employee. If the terms change for any reason, especially around a temporary pay increase, make sure you write a new letter. For example, if you get some additional Smart Start Workforce grant funds and you want to extend your temporary pay increase, you will want to note that in writing a second letter stating the new terms and amending the information from the original letter, it can feel a bit tedious and does increase your paperwork, but this is an important legal protection that helps you prepare in case there is any question in the future about whether the payment was one-time, temporary, or a permanent change. 
Hopefully, this video has helped you understand some of the practices you can use to provide incentives and additional compensation for your staff. Do you have any questions? The Illinois Network of Child Care Resource and Referral Agencies, INCCRRA, will administer the Smart Start Workforce Grants. INCCRRA will provide technical assistance answering technical questions and helping with the application process through its website and via email. Email grants at INCCRRA.org with questions. New to Smart Start Workforce Grants is local technical assistance through the Local Child Care Resource and Referral, CCR, and our system. This will provide local grant experts to provide technical assistance and answer questions. Find your local expert using the QR code on the screen. And be sure to visit the Civitas Strategies YouTube channel for more valuable resources to support you and your business.